such an interesting subject matter. When you first read the script, what was your initial reaction? Well, you know what? I actually, I was having, uh, I think, dinner with Lynn at Cafe Gratitude, and she's like, I have this idea for a movie about a massage therapist who loses her healing touch because she develops a body repulsion, and her brother, who's sort of locked into himself, who develops a healing touch. And I'm like, I'm in. That's <laughs> I've never seen that movie before. And then she went away and wrote it. Um, and then with Lynn, the script is always evolving. Like oftentimes the script that you shoot on Tuesday is not what you guys had read on Monday. You know what I mean? Like it's always in process. So that's the really exciting thing to work. I mean, sometimes it's full on improvised. This movie was not, this was scripted, but Lynn is always just changing it once she sees what the movie's becoming. The movie you worked with her previously, My Sister, Sister, that was more um, improv, right? Yeah, I mean, Lynn and Emily and Mark had done sort of extensive chatting and brainstorming and spitballing and came up with these characters' backstories and a premise. And then so when we all got there, um, then we just said the words were all, you know, spontaneous and of the moment, but we all knew who we were and who we were to each other. That had been really solidified. So which style do you prefer? I wouldn't say I prefer, I'm more comfortable with the scripted material because I know it, but I have to say doing Your Sister Sister was one of my favorite all-time experiences. I don't know if it was just like our little crew of actors, director, and the, the crew, the literal crew, or uh, or if I'd love to do that again. I could see also though how those movies could go horribly wrong. You know what I mean? I think when you're working with Lynn, you're in very talented hands. She started as an editor. So she's editing the movie while we're shooting. I think you could end up with just a lot of talk, you know, with somebody else. Yeah. Um, your husband, Ron Livingston, he plays a small part yeah. in the movie. Whose idea was that? That was Lynn's. And that always makes me nervous, you know, when you act with your boyfriend or husband or something, because you worry that there's not going to be any like electricity because you're so comfortable you know you're washing their socks in the morning and then you're doing a love seat in the afternoon um, but it was really fun and it was somebody that uh, Abby the character had known for a long time and who had some unfinished business with so it seemed like a good a good one to try it out on I mean we met acting but we didn't know each other then yeah um, what I thought was interesting about this movie was that the forefront of it is like this relationship between the two siblings. And yeah. that's not something we see a lot. So what, can you just talk about that aspect of the movie? Well, it was really interesting because this brother and sister didn't look like they came from the same family at all. You're sort of like, I, I, I got, got very curious about who these parents were because he was so tight and she was so like flippy and twirly. And, uh, but it was really fun to look at it either either as like these siblings who everybody, I mean a lot of people have them that are so different that they wouldn't be friends if they weren't born right. into the same family or just like like two sides of the same person almost. You know they start to do this dance where you see the places that you're really tight or where you're too loose and, and there's something like sort of looking at it as a whole as like all people that was really fascinating to me. What, why do you think um, your character loses her ability to work as a massage therapist? I don't know, and I don't know that I knew that while we were doing it either. What started to make sense as we were going along was that she was kind of on this threshold. Her boyfriend wanted her to move in. I think she'd been probably a big commitment phobe throughout her life, and it was time to sort of address that or she wasn't gonna live her best life. So she got kind of really stuck. I mean, maybe this isn't what Lynn would say. And I don't know that this was conscious while we were working. I just knew that I couldn't stand the sight of skin, like one day I could, and then I saw something on my knee and it all went out the window. But something, I, I think it's true to life that sometimes we do get really stuck and we need some outside situation. In this case, it's Ron's character to come in and sort of clear the cobwebs so that she could, you know, you have that old boyfriend and then you see him later and you're like, what was I thinking? I was hung up on him for what? You know, so I, I don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> I actually did look at, um, that as like a metaphor of fear of commitment. Yeah, me too, that's what it was for me. I don't know if it was while we were shooting it, but that's what I'm left with now. I think I was just sort of like Abby being like, I don't know what's happening. And she goes through quite the journey. Can you yeah. just talk a little bit about her process? Well, I think uh, I think it's tricky to, but I think this is also true to life, to be on a journey where you know you're stuck, but you don't know what's wrong with you or how to fix it. And I was very sort of moved by the character asking Alice and Janney to fix her. You know what I mean? Because I think we just want that to happen. And then we realize that we're the only ones 
who can do it. And so it's like everyone's journey. Anything you want in life, anything that you want to make peace with, you have to be the one to go through it.